Vertical navigation bars make it easier for users to browse your website compared to horizontal menus. The user site's vertical space, allowing you to add an ordered or unordered list of links to sidebars and footers without looking cramped. Many e-commerce sites use vertical navigation to add lots of products without taking up too much space. In this video, you will learn how to create vertical navigation with Seedprod. Seedprod is the number one drag and drop WordPress website builder with over 1 million professionals. To get it installed, you can head over to seedprod.com to get your copy and click on Get Seedprod Now. You can select the account that makes the most sense for you. If you need help installing Seedprod, check the description below for a link to a video tutorial. So here I have a clean installation of WordPress and on the left hand side we can see Seedprod is installed. The first thing we need is a website to actually work with. So with Seedprod we can create full landing pages which are single pages you can use for promotions or anything you like or you can create full WordPress website themes. Let's click on the theme builder here and to import a theme that's already pre-made you can click on theme template kits. You can also create yours from scratch if you prefer to do so. Let's click on theme template kits and here you can see all of the theme templates that are already inside of seed prod it comes with a ton that you can choose from on the right hand side you can use the search if you want to search for a specific theme you can sort these and you can sort by all or woocommerce as well we also have a favorite templates up here if you want to save the ones that you like the most on the left hand side let's go ahead and click the check mark here to import this theme Great, so now Seedprod installed the theme that you chose and we can see all of the template files here on the left hand side that are imported. And you can go ahead and actually edit each one of these to make your website look however you wish. Make sure on the top right hand corner we have enable Seedprod theme and this will activate it on your website. You may have a couple pop-ups here that you just need to agree to. If we look at the home page now, we can see that the theme was imported. Let's use the template for archives and search results, and we'll just click on edit design. And now we can see the Seedprod page builder. On the right hand side here, we have the actual website. This is the page that we can edit. We have our header with our menu. We have a title here. We have a test post that we added earlier. We have a sidebar on the right hand side. This is where we're going to be adding the vertical menu. At the bottom, we have a section here with the footer as well. So on the left hand side, we actually have our blocks. If we scroll down, we have standard blocks and advanced blocks, and we can just drag and drop these into our page. For example, if I want to show a button here in the top of the sidebar, I can go ahead and do that just by dragging it in. And then we click on block settings and change the settings on the left hand side. This is the basic concept of how Seedprod works. It's very simple. So if we want to add a nav menu here in the top right corner, let's go ahead and we can scroll down and we can look for nav menu. Or if you like, if you know what you're looking for at the top, we can search for it. I'll just type nav and then we'll take the nav menu here and I'll drag it into the top right corner. Now this is going to use the seed prod menu. It's not going to be using the WordPress built in one. You do have the option to use that though. Let's click on the block settings and on the top left corner, we have menu type. Here you can see simple. This is the seed prod version, or you can click on WordPress menu. You can go to the menu screen and create your own, or you can use the simple version here. By default, we have one already added called about. So if I click on this, we can actually expand this and we can see the text. This is the name that you can actually see. So if I type maybe about us, you can see that updates in real time here and you just save your page and then that change is completed. Here's our URL link right now. We don't have it linked to anywhere. We have it to open in a new window if you want. Maybe that is good for external links if you're linking out of your website. And here you can add the no follow attribute to the link if you like. I'm just going to go ahead and update this one. We'll say home. I'll do a forward slash and we'll just close this one. If you want to add a new item, you can click on this and you can see item two. Again, just open this, give it a name and change the URL link. Let's go ahead and minimize this one. And again, you can just add another one. If you like, you can also just duplicate these. And if you made a mistake, you can go ahead and delete it with the trash can. I'm going to add just a few more items here. Great. So here's all of the menu items that I've added and you can click on here and change the order if you need to. So if you want to move these around, you can go ahead and do so. At the bottom here, we have font size, so we can actually increase these if we like, or make them smaller. And we have the space between. Now these don't make much sense to edit until you change the direction. So if we come up to the top, let's go to advanced. And here's where you have the list layout. So you can change this to vertical. Now we can come back to content and we can change the font size if we want. If you wanted it huge or if you want it small, that's up to you along with the actual space between it. So you can have it a little bit tighter or more space in between. I'll keep this a little bit tighter. At the bottom here, we also have a line. So right now it's aligned to the left. You can center that if you like, or to the right side. Great, again, we can come up to the top and click on advanced. And we already changed the list layout, but here you have topography options. You can click edit. 
Here you can change the font size, the line height, letter spacing, the styling. So if you want to bold it or not, you could italicize or underline it. We also have the text color or the hover color. So right now it's just set to the default color for the theme. We also have the text shadow, and then we have the sub menu color for the background, text color, hover, and the border radius. We currently don't have a sub menu on this, but you could add one. Usually we use that in the header here with a drop down. So for the text color, I'll just simply change this to red, and you can see that that updates here and it changes. And if we come down, we can change the padding if we like. We also have spacing options for the margin and the padding. We have attributes for CSS. So if you want to add your own custom CSS, you can do so. We have device visibility. So if you want to hide this on desktop, you can go ahead and do so. You can see it's grayed out on the desktop version. We also have the tablet version as well as the mobile version. To switch between these versions, you can actually click down here to tablet preview to see what it looks like. We also have the mobile version as well. And then you can click again to come back to the desktop. And then at the bottom, we have the animation effect. So if you want a specific animation added to this block, you can go ahead and do so. And there's many, many options to choose from here, such as fade in is a simple one or you could get kind of fancy with them. Once you're happy with your menu, you can go ahead and save this, and we can go ahead and preview this on the front page. And there we go, we can see the vertical menu here on the right-hand side that we can click on. People can visit these links if you like. And again, you can customize these to look a lot different if you wish. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, leave a comment, we love hearing from you, and subscribe to the channel to learn more about Seedprod. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.